You know, if I control Rewind, I would want... Tesla. And Marquez Brownlee. When you look on the inside of the car, you can see like how many little complicated little pieces there are. A lot. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is an insane experiment. It's the dumbest experiment in, in human history. Is this what you wanted? You know who I would have asked for? Hey guys, this is Austin. 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 And this is Notch City, the notch. The notch is in full effect. It does have the notch on it. It was one of the early notch adopters. The notch, talking about the notch. It's like a metaphor for the whole phone. You drop design. Though, you can turn that off. That notch sucks. Notch wala display. The notch right in the middle. We're taking it up a notch. Yes, there is a notch at the top. And unfortunately, there's not much you can do about it. So guys, apparently we control Rewind this year. Y'all, we can do whatever we want. What do we do? What's up, 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 Bitcoin! If you bought a single Bitcoin a year ago, but it goes wildly up and wildly down, and then honestly, it could all disappear at any minute. It is worth over 17 thousand dollars two thousand dollars twenty five thousand ten thousand dollars and then what's happening with gpu pricing it's just but i refuse to do cryptocurrency mining it's something i don't want any part of and i feel like it is causing damage paul do you hate miners that's just vomit frosting on a moldy cupcake i wouldn't recommend getting any bananas or fingers anywhere near these things if you want to mine burst coin monero zcash and ethereum bitcoin cash Print money. Am I advocating for people to buy used mining GPUs for gaming? GPU mining is becoming less and less viable. An expensive paperweight. Did you know that they accept Bitcoin here? <laughs> Rewind needs more science. Could we do an experiment? What's up guys, Jay the Builder here, and uh, we're kind of continuing on this overclocking battle between Gamers Nexus and I. I custom made a block, and then I've water cooled another 2080 Ti, 14,894. Steve, what were you saying about my degraded CPU? The mod's pretty simple, right? So basically the card needs to be naked. So we'll shunt these two. Fake connector. We are gonna be going full eyeball here because measuring is very time consuming. Well, there's two kinds of right. Right and right enough. And we are at least one of them. I've actually got some condensation that's made its way to the board now. And then this thing, is one of the craziest benches we've ever built. Of an octopusy orgy of parts. Jace two cents. Congratulations for surpassing that cheater gamer's nexus. Ours is delitted. Not only is it delitted, but we put it in 50 pounds of ice. You salty, Jay? You salty yet? But I am eternal, so I'll come back whenever you respond. There's one thing this video needs. This is the Dyson Cyclone V10 Absolute. I'm not sure if you guys follow vacuum news or not, and if you don't, you probably should start. Do vacuums excite you? Oh yeah, this is industrial. Dyson Cyclone V10. Cyclone V10. There's actually a lot of vacuum pieces. Is the Dyson Cyclone V10 Absolute. Ah! Dyson Cyclone V10 Absolute. Why am I doing a video about a vacuum? Why isn't it working? Haha. <laughs> uh, did I mention that this video was sponsored? Gallup, what do you want? Take what's mine, no! I have all of the Infinity fans. What am I doing? <laughs>
Hold on, hold on. You know who really needs to be in this Rewind video? Everyone who managed to do something bigger than themselves this year. How many years has it been? Well, it's been seven years. How many videos? Almost 1,300. We just surpassed 1 million subscribers. And subscribe to our new Boot Sequence channel too. This from the YouTube must be a cease and desist for having a stupid channel. A brag? For a short man? He come a wrong way. I, on the other hand, think you dumb for subscribing to his channel. This is just a notice of a myriad people making a mistake. Slow and steady growth. In the last 10 years, in spite of the fact that, um, you know, I've never been featured in a YouTube Rewind, for example. You know, other than that, we've really just gotten no attention from the platform whatsoever. And in that time, like, we've overtaken channels that were absolutely, you know, monstrous at the time that I first started out. The bankruptcy auction of my former employer, NCIX.com, has begun. It's today. Riley? Yeah, it's in the back. Uh. Riley, is that you? Uh. 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 Let's see if I still got this. AI, machine learning, mixed reality. Xbox Connect? And that's it for the first episode of TechLinked. You know, it's funny because this is just such a throwback to the early days of the channel when like half of what we did was not edited at all and the other half of it was edited so poorly. Yo quiero agradecer a toda la comunidad que siempre apoya en buenas y malas. Quita de la cuarga. Quita a la team. We're forgetting something. Let's give the people what they want. Let's take a look at RTX on. Look, look what happens. Everything just works. When you die and your whole life flashes before your eyes, how much of it do you want to not have been ray traced? Please Look not. at the reflections off the ground, guys. It just, it just. Yeah, so you can see. Wow, it just happens. Everything just works. The problem though, is that this chassis, the MacBook Pro, cannot cool the i9 properly. This thing thermal throttles like a mother advertiser-friendly content. Everything just works. The Apple Store confirmed that they were unable to fix it because HQ wouldn't send them the parts they ordered. Flabbergasting to me that nobody on the phone at Apple can support the customers who give them thousands and thousands of dollars for a computer. So you have to send back everything, and if you don't send back everything, you don't get replacement pricing, but you get charged twice the actual price of it, which is already four times the price that it should cost on any other computer. Yes. Well. Everything just works. Principal Technology commissioned me to be the head of their benchmarking team. We don't do a free test. Intel pay us a shit ton, okay? They disabled half the cores on the 2700X, essentially turning it into a quad core and therefore placing it at an unbelievable disadvantage. What the V-Sync do? Ah, it's like an N-Sync, but the Chinese knockoff boy band must be the game music, so I turn it on. Computer graphics basically works. Quite a bit of early adopters have been having issues with NVIDIA's RTX 2080 Ti. Dying NVIDIA graphics cards. Defective NVIDIA GeForce RTX cards. Others have had to RMA cards more than once due to receiving a second still defective card back from NVIDIA. And yet for ray tracing, it just works. Everything just works. You can build a gaming desktop for around $1,000, some tweezers to tie up the wires, a Swiss Army knife, which hopefully has a Phillips head screwdriver in it, and last but not least, an anti-static bracelet, which is to protect you and the parts. Isn't that just a, like a rubber band? And make sure that you align it with these little insulating pads so that the power supply doesn't short circuit and come into contact with the rest of the system. Have a little bit extra and layer it on top of the CPU. He added more. Thumb screws like this and just screw them on. We hope he did that right. And beautiful cable management, beautiful. Curved mirrors, nobody does that. It's impossible. Not for ray tracing, it just works. <laughs> and new single socket, 28 core processor. Oh, that's hot. Monster. That's right, that's hot. Shut up and take my money, Intel. It's all bullshit. Everything just works here.